How's it going, guys? I'm Danny, and this week we are doing round coverage from the Winter Express, the C tier that was at the, the local course down in Bryant, Arkansas. I have with me Cameron Banks. Say what's up, Cameron. How's it going, everybody? Cameron's my good friend. We were we were going to play this tournament, but he hurt himself the weekend before, so he wasn't able to play. So I bribed him with lunch, and we are out here. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, we have filming of this now. So let's get started. Let's meet our players. On the top left is myself. On the top right is Adam. Morrow. He is from Dothan, Alabama. On the bottom left is Jonathan Underwood from Searcy, Arkansas. And on the bottom right is Jacob Henson from South Haven, Mississippi. Let's uh, let's check out the coverage. Now, this was a shotgun start, so we're starting on hole two. What do you know about hole two, Cameron? Hole two um, basically plays as a little wide hyzer. You have a gap on the right that you have to hit and then let the ground skip the disc. Yeah, these leaves, it was kind of hard to get a skip. I had to, because it's 385, it's down there. I don't, I can't throw my most overstable disc that far, so I had to throw something and flip it up, and I didn't quite get the left skip that I wanted. But I'm inside the circle. I'm about 20. Mm -hmm. Adam here has got a trespass in his hands. Hanes it out wide, gets good glide as well. Yeah, that's a good shot. He's got the, the stable for a trespass there. I think that one was biofusion too, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Jonathan's got his enforcer here. Ooh. Got a little nose up, a little sawed off. Looks like he landed on the left, so he'll have a gap. Yeah, he's right in line with the basket, but he's about 50 short. Here goes Jacob. Jacob has a ton of power. He's on Team Prodigy. He's just ripping this D1. Nice and low, too. That should get a lot of skip. Yeah, he could throw a really overstable disc here. That is parked. That is behind the basket about 10 feet. Yeah, he, he came to play today. Here's John from about 50. Oh. Just left side. There's Adam. And then Adam's got a really cool putt. He likes to float it way up in the air and just let it sort of fall at the basket. But unfortunately, he put a little too much float on that one. Good nice putt. Thank you. That's from about 20 feet. Got it. <laughs> I think John was about to walk in front of the camera there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John tapping in three, and Jacob tapping in a birdie. Must be nice. Putting through a tree. Through a tree. He's got one of those teleporting discs. Yeah. He's good at that. So, first hole, I am one under par. Jacob is one under par. Adam and John are even. Moving on to hole three. What you know about hole three? Hole three, again, very similar shot to hole two. You just have a few more gaps to hit. Again, you want to go to the right. I see that a lot more than going up the middle, although it is there. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a pick a gap. Mm -hmm. Pick pick whichever one you'd like. It's not like a poke and hope. There's, they're big enough that you can hit them, but it's just pick one and commit to it. I believe this is an H3 from Jacob. And he goes through that... This kind of, Straighter, straighter gap, gap yeah. but it hangs it just a little too high and let the disc fade in a little too early as well. Yeah, these leaves are really un unpredictable. It's hard to tell if they're going to eat the disc or skip or whatever's going on. Now, Adam's got his flow here. Haven't seen many people throw a flow, but according to Adam, you can't spend too much time down in Alabama without. With Matteo and. Who was the other guy? I'm not too sure who the other I guy was. I remember, there was another guy. Anyway. I'm going to get angry messages about forgetting the other guy's <laughs> name. <laughs> anyway, uh, with Matteo and, and not throw a flow. But Jonathan got his a little high there. The trick in the editing here that you can tell when somebody has a bad shot is when, the, when it doesn't zoom. Because it zooms in to follow their shot. So if they hit an early tree, I just didn't zoom. Oh, yeah. So watch watch for the, the not zooming. That's a bit of a spoiler there. Jacob here from about 60 feet. He's got a good jump putt on him. Oh, just, just barely low. low. Is right, right on left to right, just a little bit low. Adam's got this from about 25, 30 maybe. Floating putt. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> just enough power. The Bill Trousdale sighting in the background. Adam wasn't wasting any energy on that putt. He was giving it just enough mm -hmm. to get in the basket. That's good. You want to conserve your energy. There's me for two from about 25. Got a little lucky there finding your disc on top of the leaves. Yeah. It was. Uh, these leaves are pretty thick here. John tapping in his three, and Jacob does the same. So for scores after hole three, I am 
two down, Adam and Jacob are one, and Jonathan is even. Moving on to hole four here. Hole four is 435 with the parking lot on the right OB. Um, we didn't want to film this one from the tee pad because that would be boring, but you got this beautiful panning shot here. We had a little bit of a headwind here, so it was kind of weird. I wanted to throw a more overstable disc, but I didn't at the same time. It was, it was a tricky shot for sure. Especially since that you kind of want to go over this parking lot, hanging out a nice hyzer again. Mm -hmm. uh, plays OB, so you need something overstable enough to skip back in, such as that. Although that one came up a little shorter than he wanted. Yeah, it's it's easy to try and throw this too hard and flip it over. And then you're, you're OB way back by the T-pad. So. Unless you're Jake Benson. Unless you're Jacob Benson. <laughs> that was... I mean, he could make the hole look hard. But he doesn't have to, so he's just going to throw it right up there like you're supposed to. And John's got some good power on him. He was up here. Yeah, he should have a gap right there for about 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Adam with the putter flicks. I always like to see a good putter flick. It's a good up shot. Yeah, great touch. This one shot I don't have in my bag is the super touchy, floaty forehand putter. John from about 60. A little high. He gave it a look. This is me from about 45, 50. Oh, an inch low. I forgot how close that was. And Jacob's got about 15 feet here. We'll give him 17. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Okay, it was at least 35. <laughs> Just to make it feel better. That was a terrible miss. You really got to make those, Jacob. But we're all going to end up tapping in threes here. Hole four. So we could have just skipped this hole. <laughs> it's all the same score anyway. We can all just part it. We can skip this one. Definitely different ways to oh, <laughs> get your three. Maybe I should have let Adam clear the basket there. <laughs> didn't uh, I, don't, I didn't catch what you were saying there, did you? I don't, I don't even remember. Ah, Okay. Here we are, hole five is 423, kind of the same shot as hole four, except there is OB left. There is an OB creek, so you really don't want to land yeah. with a lot of left movement on the disc. This is a pretty ideal shot. If it sticks, oh dear. I hope it sticks. Or stuck. Who knows, that, that line is right there. There are some bushes that might have caught it, but we'll see. Adam's got that flow again. I remember the shot because about halfway through the flight, he then turns around with a little bit of disgust just because he knew he wanted to have that kind of hyzer out at the end. Yeah, you really got to really gotta challenge the creek without getting scared of it. Same thing with Jake, but yeah. he gets it a little straighter, so he'll have a look. That was pretty much ideal. That's, that's the, the miss to have is short into that side of that creek because then you have a look at two or you could lay it up for three or you could run your death butt. Jonathan has this sawed off. He's been doing that the first few holes here. Oh dear. <laughs> we had people throwing at us from behind us on pull four. We were kind of taking turns where we would throw and then they would throw, but that's how it goes. Again, Adam with the putter flicks. Good touch on that. Yeah, wow. Absolutely. John from 35. Yeah. That's not 35. That's like 30. But still, still it's a good putt. It, yeah. It's a good putt. Jacob's got this death putt here with a tree. I don't think the tree was really in his way. He had a good look at it. Oh, oh no, dear. sit down. Come on. <laughs> Not there, though. Yeah. You don't usually see skips off the number plate. The number uh, plate usually. <laughs> so were you in? I was. The, the flags were the OB line, so it was a straight line between sure the flags. Okay. <laughs> and I was, I was just barely about half a disc inbounds. But Jacob taps in as four, so he's back to even par. I am three down. Adam and John are one down. What do you know about hole six here? Hole six, you're wanting to play in this position a nice soft flex forehand, which it looks like you've got lined up. You want to go either around those trees to the left, or you can go up the middle as well, although you do play the thistle patch on the right-hand side of the play. <laughs> yeah, that is that is not where you want to be on that right side. Nice thumber there. Get out Ooh. of the... Th oh. that first yeah, that's, that's straight at the thistle patch. Mm -hmm. I think a Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> no, he already eats thistles. Yeah. But over on that left side is fairly open. That's where you want to be. It looks like there's trees over there, but there's plenty of gaps there. And Adam's got a good-looking flick here. And just fading into the hill. Yep. That is almost on top of mine. That was a good shot here. Let's see if Jacob can 
Can do this. Is that H2 or H3? I believe in H2. He's got it sawed off. He just didn't put the right angle on that one. Had good power for sure, but he is in the thistles. <laughs> and this isn't really a putt you can you can honestly expect to make. You might throw it up with a hope and a prayer, but you're probably yeah. not. You've not got upset a, if you miss a lot of foliage in your way in order for you to make that putt. All those thistles. Um, so John and Jacob are pretty much laying up. I have a wide open putt with a teleporting disc through a tree from about 20 feet here for birdie. Mm -hmm. A little uphill. Good putt. Nice. Yeah, every putt that I made this round was kind of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't I hadn't thrown. This was on Saturday. I hadn't thrown since Monday, and it was it was just surprising every time I made a putt, which is kind of nice. It's good to be surprised. Oh yeah, so far a third of the way through the course. Oh geez, it's a third of the way through already, isn't it? Time flies when you're having fun. And making putts like that. Nice putt, Adam. <laughs> yeah, Adam had a good putt there. Time. Good birdie. Tap in time. Ooh, tap in time. Eventually. Excellent musical stylings. Uh, I yeah. Can dig it. All right, so scores. I'm four down, Adam and John are one, and Jacob is still at even. Jacob's a really good player to still be at even par. But he'll get it together soon. Hole seven here. This is kind of a weird shot. You don't want to be in the crap on the right because there's thistles over there. And too far left and you fade down the hill. So you kind of want to throw something that just... Oh, dear. <laughs> that was straight right into the thistles. Wait. There is no way that's what? getting through. <laughs> right in the middle of the fairway. So that's what happened. Happened. That's apparently the line. You just throw it straight where you don't want to be and you hope it lands. See, Adam's playing the forehand here so he doesn't finish too far left down the hill, which is a good play here. If you have a big forehand, that might be the shot, but he's got this flipped over a little bit much. He is right next to that tree. Angle control, whether a backhand or a forehand, is so important on this hole because you don't want it skipping all the way down, but you also want to give it enough hang time. If this one's a little sawed off here, it's that branch that you kind of have to miss off the box. Yeah, he had the right idea, but... You really just want the disc to drop. If if they made disc that just didn't fade at all, yeah. that'd be awesome. And Ad, not Adam, John, Jacob's got this flip, flipped over a little much, <laughs> but he finds like the 18 inch gap in the trees for some reason. You and you and uh, that was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, John likes to play pretty quick. We missed his second shot here. He is about 25 no. short. I was worried I was in the way here. And Adam took a second to line this up. He's got a bush behind him that he was contending with, but it looks like he's got a forehand. Similar to John's here. Oh, roller. Oh, okay. Getting crafty with the forehand roller. Flipped over a little much. He's down the hill. Not too bad, though. I'm just trying to not roll away. This hill here is very steep. And any angles that are on your disc where they land, that just bring that roll away into question. So you really don't want to roll down the hill here. Adam's doing the same thing with a touchy putter flick again. Again, three for three with those touchy putter forehands. I like it. He's, he's simmered down there very nice. Jacob... You don't really want to run this putt either. It's kind of a death putt, so he's just trying to not roll down the hill. John's got 25 feet here. It looks longer than it is. Yeah, it's it's, it's one of those putts, though, you kind of have to commit to or else... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, that can happen. This hill is a lot steeper than it looks. So there's John for four. He'll be tapping in his five. Uh, I believe Adam got a four, mm -hmm. and then Jacob and I got threes. So this one played as a par four, scored as a par four, so Jacob is finally under par, and John only has a bogey. Well, that takes skill. Ooh, those are my dance moves there. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> Predicting your dance skills. I, I slipped on the tree there. Okay, <laughs> hole eight here. There's no line. It's 550-something feet, and it is just trees all the way down. There, it's clear enough that you'll get lucky about half the time or hit a tree about half the time. So it's really about your second shot here. You just want to throw your first shot to where you're in a decent position, and then you, you work on it from there. I hit an early tree. Jacob's hit an early tree, but we made it about halfway down the fairway. Yeah, which is really what you want because unless you absolutely pure the gap of where I'm standing at, you're not going to be getting a clean look to your second shot. You really just want something that you can just get up and down with, as mm -hmm. we said before. I think one time I've made it all the way down to the garden. 
the the spot where you really want to land, and it's yeah. it's just not a reliable shot. So John flipped his forehand over way early here. This is not at all where you want to be. Did he throw a forehand? And he threw another forehand. Mm -hmm. I know he doesn't prefer the forehands. No, but it worked for him there. He's got a nice gap to get up and down for his four. He was saying that about this course. He says, I don't like this course. It makes me throw a forehand. <laughs> <laughs> Here's hole eight. I have, I have a tight gap to hit, but I walked up to this and I just said, that's a four. There's really no chance of me getting up and down. There's so many trees there. I, I hit the line I was really trying to hit, but it just, there's just too many. If you want to practice for Idlewild, guys, this is the course. This is the course. This is the hole. Oh, the hole. The rest of the course is awesome. <laughs> I, I say that like it's mean. I like this hole. It really it really tests your scrambling ability. Because from where, wherever you land, you never know what your shot could be. It could be a forehand ante spike, something. I don't know. Speaking of forehand ante. Oh, dear. That's caught some, some cabbage. Stayed safe. Yes, there is a creek up, that's OB left there. But he is he is well out of the creek. But he is again in the thistles. I hadn't said that word in like four years. <laughs> uh, me and John just have nice easy up shots here. Mine is terrible. Um, it's a bit low. I left a left a little bit of meat on the bone. But Adam is over here with the sun in his face too. He really couldn't see. That's mm -hmm. what he was telling me after the hole. And was just finished. wearing those shorts, his legs are getting all scratched up. And it's not where you want to be. But, you know, trimmed up the course some, made the best of what he could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jacob has this. He's got 60 feet. Yeah, just outside of 60 feet with a little downhill slope there. I believe this is for his birdie three. This one is a par four. Man, again. again, he's hitting that basket. He's right on target left and right. He's just got to get the height right. What was that? Don't go to that side. Don't go to that Burn side. all of that. Yeah, that's not a party over there. That would definitely not be somewhere I would want to hang out. So I've got about 20 feet. Good point. Again, surprising. Now it's <laughs> Made that one. Favorite segment. So oh, boy, here we go. Oh, no. Crank the volume, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Everybody's tapping in. Jacob, John, Adam. Bad feeling something's going to happen now. So I've got a three. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh no, Adam is gonna. <laughs> I don't I like know it. what to do. I'm sorry. You, yeah, you panic in that situation. That's fine. So everybody taps at a four except for Adam, who has a five. Moving on to hole nine here. Hole nine is 390 feet. You can either play a forehand on the right side or a roller on the left. The basket is straight in line past though that oh. green leafery on the right. That's a word. Yeah. Um, my roller tried to climb a tree, though, so I've just got easy up and down for three. I convinced Jacob to throw the roller as well, though. He thought about an air shot or a forehand, but I convinced him to throw the roller. I really don't think it's that great of a shot with the uh, the leaves on the ground, but I can't throw a forehand that far. That looks really good. Nice to be able to throw a backhand roller that far. That's a great Jeez, shot. Jeez, yeah, that's Jake. really good. He's about 35 feet left of the basket. The pin is right where he went, just to the right of it. And Jonathan's throwing another forehand here. Wow. Oh, he's got that flipped. Ooh, he hit a ninja tree. As uh, Jeremy Coley would say, it stayed out of the bumble, though. The bumble, okay. I haven't heard that before. But uh, I know what it means just from the way it sounds. Let's see if Adam's got this forehand here. There you go. It's got Beautiful. The and the comeback. Yes, that flow, man. <laughs> um, he's he's about forty feet out, you think? Forty, fifty, maybe. Yeah, about it forty. Doesn't quite have three ninety on the on the forehand, but not many people do. So, it's a good shot. And Adam and John are gonna go stand right in front of the basket. Just, you know, make a better wall than a window, guys. All right. So Adam's got fifty, forty feet left. This might be longer than that. It looks pretty long. Interesting jump putt, mm -hmm. and he's right on line, just not quite, uh, not quite the furtherance, as Billy Crump would say. Ooh, we have a Mitch Trotter sighting in the background too. And I know Jake was frustrated at this point because he's been all over the basket and he just wanted to can one. Oh yeah, he was outside the circle though. He asked us and we did let him jump, and he's straight in the basket. 
Absolutely. What a putt. That's how you get on a birdie train right there. All aboard. Let's roll this one back. And he immediately, confidently, oh yeah, walks towards the disc. And that's what you kind of need, to trust your disc to be able to make those kind of putts. Yeah, he knew it was in the second it left his hand. Oh, again? It is not raining. <laughs> no, just just pure observation, you know, oh. the Bob Ross happy trees. And oh, the I like it. Falling on the ground. All right, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. So after nine holes, I am five under par. Adam is one under par. John is even, and Jacob is two under par. Um, I'm not sure why this is here because hole ten is going to be in a different video. No, it's not. I'm completely wrong. We start on <laughs> hole two. Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, all right, so hole 10 here is 260, Ooh, over water, played as an island with a drop zone on the right. That shot is safe. We had a very strong left to right wind. I would like to put my, my name in the hat for the winning of the best hair on this hole. Absolutely. That is a bit low here. You really want to spike this one in the green, not softly hyzer, because I got caught on edge. I skipped long and left. I actually couldn't find my comb on the morning of this. <laughs> so my hair's just, you know? There it is. There's John's got his justice here. That's how you play it. Yeah, good shot, Picture perfect. Just spike it in the green just like that. You see how much the wind was blowing it? Oh, lifted yeah. it up there some. Adam's trying to do just the same thing. You play last week again, or Ooh, get there. I played an Elmer. Get there. Oh, and come on. Oh, oh man. Goodness. Yeah, that was like inbounds for a bit, but then it trickled back OB. So he is actually going to the drop zone, and he pitched up from the drop zone. So this is me from about 32 feet. Mm -hmm. Barely inside. I had a right to left win there. Again, surprised to make it. But, uh. Oh, you're fooling the camera here. That's the trick. You just look confident. And, and Jacob's got 28 with the same win, but he's in the bushes a little bit. Ooh, caught the right side. Good putt. The the mock X's here tend to catch better on the sides than, than uh, I don't know. They, <laughs> they take a lot of power, but they tend to grab them coming in from the sides, I've noticed, for my putt anyway. I know if you don't putt hard, they won't catch it, but Adam, uh, Adam just aired it over the top. He had a headwind coming from that direction, so his putt just caught a little bit of lift. Oh, man, same deep. with John's. Ooh, John got a little high. He hit the S hook. And rode the chain all the way down. But he is in for two, and Adam is taking a three, four, five. That's it, buddy. Just stop the bleeding. Nobody's worried about your footfall. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now after nine holes, I am six down. Jacob is three down. Adam and John are both one up. Uh, we started on hole two, so I had to cover up the, the first hole here, but... What do you think so, so far? So far, playing pretty good, and I've seen a lot of good shots from this group. I'm excited to do the back nine. Yeah, we'll have the back nine coming up soon, guys.